Uh, in terms of mechanics, you put all the detail and the textures and the alphas, etc. Uh, I didn't do any alpha stamping or anything on this one. I basically modeled in everything that I that was going to break the silhouette or need to be modeled into the game res. And then, yeah, for the detail-y stuff, uh, let me see if I have a higher res version of this. Yeah. For this stuff in here, this is all any, like the bullet holes, uh, any scratches or this kind of stuff. There's no point in doing that in ZBrush. If it's not going to break the silhouette, you're going to bake it. It's just too destructive. You can if you just want to like do a 3D print, uh, then that's fine, of course. But um, yeah, for development and stuff, it's easier just to go through and do anything that's not breaking the silhouette later. Chip paints, uh, paint chips, <laughs> chip paints, and bullet holes and stuff like that. Just do it later. So, uh, speaking of keeping things light, uh, for example, if I go through here, let's do a quick, I'll show you. So, you can see like in here, and you look in this little um, swinging winch here, you're going to see, oh, it looks fine. It's got all these things here. So, if I go here and I hit D, there's my dynamic preview. So, I can go through here and I can hit dynamic on and everything looks fine and high res. However, if I go over here to subtool, merge visible, and I go look at this, you're going to see all that stuff disappears because what I did was I I didn't sit here and just, uh, I mean, you can do this. You can go, okay, let's split hidden. Let's do an auto groups and let's split this one off. So for this one, you can go through here and you can say, uh, hold down control and drag out a copy, hold down control, drag out a copy, or you can hold down control, drag out a copy, uh, keep uh, your mouse held down, but let go of control and you go, brrr, you can make copies like this. Or what I prefer to do is go down here to array mesh, uh, turn on array mesh, transpose, lock size, lock position, hit W, hit Y to get our trusty transpose tool out. And now if I go through here, I can say, okay, I want this, hold down shift, and we can say we the repeats. You can add in the repeats um, over in the array mesh settings. There we go. So we can make our repeats however long we want. And you can scale them if you want to, but we're just going to move these back. So I'm going to say, you get moved back here. And depending on how far out you want this to go, you can dial in how many repeats you want and all that good stuff. So using a ray mesh to keep my scene light and uh, consistent is that. And then also on the dynamic side, you know, this piece right here, let's just do control shift, control shift A, I'm going to go ahead and split hidden. So for example, this is all this is, but when I hit D and we do like level of three, smooth set of a four. Um, it looks a lot more resolved than it is. And of course I can still continue to work on this like we were doing before. Let's hit X symmetry here. And let's do a quick group by normals, mirror and weld. And then we'll just do like an inset poly group all. We'll inset this, we'll inset this one more time. And then we'll just do a Q mesh. And then we'll just say, push this back a little bit. And then we go like brush insert model kit. And then we'll say hit M. And we'll say, put this in there. We can, uh, let's hit Y so we get our gizmo back. We have LSIM turned on, so we can just do across the local axis, and we'll go ahead and do, just do a split on mass points. So now, you know, we can continue refining and modeling this thing, and then when you hit D, it looks nice and refined. Uh, let's go ahead and do a crease here. Now, if we don't want that crease, instead of doing a crease there, we can do a crease PG. Oh, those are polygroups. So, okay, let's do this. Crease, edge, just uncrease these. Or if you want to have one crease, you can. And if you want to add more detail in here, insert multiple edge loops here. And then we'll say Q mesh, or we'll do an inset. And then we'll do a Q mesh, because I like that better. And then you can do another crease PG, and then we'll do a, you know, if you want to not have to do that, um, and you want to use crease PG, just go up here. You can hold down Alt and start painting, and then tap Shift and that'll inherit it, and then it'll continue to paint with that polygroup. So now we can do uh, uncrease all, crease PG, and then it'll just be more consistent. So there you go. Uh, the array mesh here is also useful. This piece right here only has one piece, but it's actually doubled up on the original here. And that's because we have array mesh turned on. So if I want a model on this piece, and it's like, okay, I want a model, but man, I want it to be the same, but I want to kind of model on the inside here. It's easy enough just to go through here, and uh, so you can see this is just an instance. Turn off array mesh, go through here, do whatever modeling you need to do. Let's like inset, uh, let's just do a polygroup island here. And then we'll say, let's inset that a little bit more and then we'll Q mesh that out. So, okay, now I'm done modeling and then you can turn your array mesh back on and your other piece will be updated.
So that way, when you're working on the stuff like boots, you don't have to sit there and go like, oh, let me hide my boot, model on the inside of the boot, mirror and weld it later. Uh, just use a ray mesh. So I use a ray mesh all over the place on this thing. And it's also an instance, so it's pretty cheap. So like on the toes here, if I go into solo mode and turn ray mesh off, I use the ray mesh on those things. Um, on the inside of the leg, the thighs here. So these little pieces right here, I have a ray mesh on. And you can actually, once you turn a ray mesh on for one object here, and you put another object, like these little um, cut-in objects here, uh, you can, in, if you inset insert them on the array meshed object, it'll inherit the array mesh property, so it'll just array mesh perfectly later on. So use array mesh.